Mackenzie. Hi everyone. Um, I am now 22. I started off when I was seven playing piano and then um, slowly I began to kind of play more and sing and, and um, I started playing and writing songs and it kind of just took off from there and I'm obsessed with songwriting like that's my favorite thing to do. Um, I'm, I write more from personal experiences. That's what it's inspires me. I have macular dystrophy. My sight is 20 over 400. I am blind in my central vision completely. Um, and because of that, uh, my whole, my daily life is affected. So I'm unable to drive. Um, I have to have assistive devices with me at all times to help me, you know, read. And with that, you just, you learn to adapt and you just kind of, you know, you change your, you change your strategy in life just to kind of be able to fit your needs. And I was probably in, actually I was in grade 10 and I got to go on the dream lift, which is where, you know, they, they, uh, Sunshine takes all the kids, like a bunch of kids and loads them on a plane and we all go to Disney for a day. And it's the craziest, like most insane 24 hour trip anybody could ever imagine. So the the girl who uh, was doing orientation mobility with me told me about the dream lift and then she also said um well you can get your own indiv sorry individualized dream original dream was to meet taylor swift which wow. um it didn't it didn't happen which i'm super super grateful for then i you know had this idea i was like well i love music and i'm a i'm a musician and all i want to be is a musician so why don't i make taylor swift want to meet me and record my own song then I recorded it down at Grant Avenue Studios in Hamilton, worked with an amazing team. And that was like, I think that was my favorite part of the entire process because again, I love creating and it was the perfect opportunity. My whole life is music. Like everything that I love about life involves music and that's all I want. And it was kind of, this This song was kind of like a letter to my parents being like, hey, like I, I'm serious about this and like, this is my dream. And like, there's a line where it says, I hate to leave you, but a dreamer's got to do what she's got to do. I think it's really fitting for this because a lot of, you know, a lot of kids, like, you know, if they're going through physical challenges or medical challenges, yeah. it's it's very, you know, sometimes you kind of feel like you're pushed into the back of a corner and your, your, your medical, you know, needs or your physical needs are taken over and people are just kind of micromanaging you, but like, you still are who you are and you deserve to have your own life experience and that's what's so beautiful about sunshine is that it gives you that life experience that like that is so unique to you and it's like you really feel heard and recognized it took me a second when the song was on the radio i'm literally getting chills talking about it but like it took me a second to be like that's my song on the radio like this is my life stream come through like i'm finally hearing my music on the radio and like i just bawled like and like the dj host who i'm a huge fan of like came over and hugged me and like we were all my whole family was in the room so we're all like crying together like and it was super amazing to actually like have a dream realized right do you have any words of wisdom to pass along to people you know in terms of going through challenges especially during this pandemic just just try to stay as positive as you can like, try to take what you have and do what you can with it basically that's just what i'm trying to get across i don't know where i'm